the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Hey, everybody, God bless you. I hope you enjoy uh, your weekend uh, your, and last week, and I hope you have a blessed week coming up. And uh, this Sunday, we just did uh, the 23rd of July. We sat there and, and went over uh, the true mark of a Christian. But the title started off, because I ended up with two titles. And I want to show the two titles, and I want to read the scripture that we use, because the fact is we as believers need to start operating as believers and stop operating according to the world and understand that we are all accountable to God. And if you don't think that, then, then, then that's, you understand that stop calling yourself a Christian if you don't want to be accountable to God. A lot of cases we seem to be accountable to man, but we got to be accountable to God. Amen? So, this is the, this is a topic that uh, I felt I needed to address this morning, uh, but <laughs> the whole point is we need to understand the true mark of a Christian. But my title, then I go with this title. But the second title I want to show you, the scripture I'm going to go over with, uh, is "Do Christians believe we benefit from slavery?" That's a question. Do you? Because in Florida, they they want to put and say there was some benefit from being a slave. There was some benefit from being raped. There was some benefit from being uh, tortured and mutilated and hung and forced to lay, uh, to, to work in in cotton fields and 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 cake and you know other agricultural uh, things as if these people came from civilizations that didn't have those things, don't have those skills. But if, you, if you're that ignorant, I'm sorry, I'm going to tell you something. The earliest and first civilization started where? In Africa. <laughs> that's not an indoctrination, that's a truth. And the fact is that those people came from, those people who were kidnapped, came from uh, cultures and civilizations that were surviving and striving as a governments and as, as people, as communities. They, they didn't come out there sitting there hanging on a, a, just in a hut or just spear, throwing a spear. These people came. And don't forget, too, if you don't know history, the Moors ruled Europe for over seven, eight hundred years. Maybe you didn't know that, but you know it now. If you're going to listen. So we got to say, no, there's no benefit from being a slave. You think so? You be one and see if you like it. So I started with that. But this is what the whole point I really wanted to get to is this right here, the mark of a true Christian. And I want to cover those scriptures. And like I said, I hope you enjoy this uh, study we're going to do. I'll break them down in segments. But the fact is that we have to go by the teaching of Christ. We need to show and bear good fruit. Fruits of the Spirit found in Galatians 5, 22 to 23. Now the fruits of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance, against such there's no law. We need to bear good fruit. And then we need to also show the mark of a true Christian. And that's what this one is about, is showing the true marks of a Christian. And don't forget, Christ said, if you love me, you keep my commandments. Obviously, if some people saying they love somebody else because they're not loving Christ, but they're not keeping his commandments. So here's the, the script I wanted to use that we're going to use by study. And those scriptures come at the end of the study. But look at what it says here. Let love be without dissimulation. Abhor that which is evil, cleave to that which is good. Be kindly affectionate to one another with brotherly love and honor preferring one another. Not slothful in business, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. Rejoicing in hope, patience in tribulation, continuing instant in prayer, distributing to the necessity of the saints, giving the hospitality, bless them which persecute you, bless and curse not, Rejoice with them that do rejoice and weep with them that weep. Be of the same mind one toward another. Mind not high things, but condescend to men of low estate. Be not wise in your own conceit. Recompense to no man evil for evil. Provide, on, provide things honest in the sight of all men. 
if it be possible, as much as lies in you, live peacefully with all men. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourself, but rather give place unto wrath. For it is written, vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. Therefore the enemy hunger, feed him. If he thirst, give him drink. For in so doing, he shall heap coals of fire in his hand. Be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good. That's the whole point we're saying is the mark of a Christian. And I like to read that again. Be not overcome with evil, overcome evil with good. Listen, we need to be and bear the mark of a Christian. These are the answers to the test if you want to be a Christian. You make that confession and you bear good fruit because it's time for us to shine. And I'm saying is that's not some of the stuff we're seeing in the day. It's not about shining, it's about lying. And we need to not tolerate that anymore. It's time to start making the deal with the devil and start making the deal with God through the new covenant, through Christ. Amen? And like I said, don't forget to subscribe. I hope you enjoy and I'll see you when I see you. And now we're getting ready to go to the next session or the concerning the study we did this week on the 23rd of July. God bless you and I'll see you when I see you. Bye-bye. There's a mark of a Christian, people. Here's your test. Brother as for people. Let people know what the test is. This is called the, the mark of a true Christian. This is the test. This is the, this is the answer to the test. Romans 12, 9. Let love be without dissimulation. Abhor that which is evil. You know, hoard, right? <laughs> yeah. Cleave to that which is good. Mm. Be kindly, affection one to another with brotherly love. Well, in honor, preferring one another. Uh -huh. Not slowful in business. Well, reverent in spirit. Well, serving the Lord. Uh -huh. Rejoicing in hope. Well, patient in tribulation. Yes. Continuing instant in prayer. Well, disturbing to the necessity. Distributing. Distributing. distributing, yeah. To the necessity of <laughs> Oh, things. yeah. Uh, the man. I know, brother. <laughs> hospitality. <laughs> yeah. Bless them which persecute you. Well. Bless and curse not. Well. Rejoice with them that do rejoice. Well. With them that weep. Well. Let me get the next one. <laughs> Be of the same mind one to another. Well, I not high things. Well, condescend to men of lowest. Decision. Well, be oh, not you wise mean, in your own conceits. Well, recompense to no man evil ooh. for evil. Did 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 did, did, did you read that right? Yes. You had to read. You read yes, that right. Yes, I didn't even stutter on that one. <laughs> <laughs> Provide things honest in the sight of all men. No, you mean no, you not the slave though. You can't no, talk no, about the slave. No, it they, can't they, be a slave, right? That it, can't be I, a part of their test. No, that, that no, you can't you can't be honest in the sight of all men then, right? But you know, property, you can you ain't gotta be honest with them. See, we may we relabel these human beings, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. so you, you you gotta be honest to these people, right? They're but he said all men. They're, they're not men. <laughs> they're not men. So they're property. So you, you ain't got to do that. But yeah. what about today? What because modern day today, right? This is modern day now, right? Yeah. They're so, still not so, so <laughs> they still not. Oh, okay, okay. They're still they living. curse people. They curse people. That's what it is. That's what it is. Go ahead. Something, Go ahead. something wrong with them. They they're different color. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> something wrong with them. <laughs> or different language. Yeah. Or or different economic status. Yeah. You know, something like that, right? But what, what, what the rest of the test? What the rest of the test say? If it be possible, as much as lieth in you, uh -huh. live peaceably with all men. No, that can't. See, that can't be answered to the test. That wasn't on the test. That that can't. That no. That that could. That we can't accept that on the test, right? That doesn't apply to all men, right? It's just like John 3, 16. It can't apply for the world. We can't talk about the world. We know we ain't talking about the world. And we talk about, live peaceful all. You mean, 
how can I hang a person on a tree if you're telling me I gotta be living peacefully with all that? How can I not empty a clip on a man if you gotta tell me I gotta be live peacefully with all that? <laughs> So you, hold, hold on go, a second, one second. Okay, you know, I talk where you going, okay? <laughs> People, do, are you here? Are you checking out what the scriptures are saying? If you, you talking about, the, this is called the mark of the true Christian. That's what it's saying, the mark of a true Christian. And you don't, if you're not getting, these, these are the answers to the test to be a true Christian. We're talking about the fruits of the spirit, the love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temper, the consensus of the law. We're talking about the fruit of a Christian. This here talking about the mark of a Christian. If you want to pass the test, then why don't you know the answer? Here's the answers. If brother as I said earlier about teaching you the answer to the test. But it's not the answers to the test for men, it's for God. So, so you, you left here at 18. Go yeah. to 18 again. If it be possible, as much as lieth in you, mm. live peaceably with all men. Dearly beloved, mm. avenge not yourselves, mm. but rather give place unto wrath. You mean, we, we, you said don't, we got to go after the property though, right? Those, those people that that's different from us. We got to go after them. We got to put barbed wires in the, in, in, in the river. Right? For for those people, because we're defending. They're not attack. We're defending as if they're attacking. See, we're gonna use the word that we gotta defend our borders. So we we gonna defend our borders with the same thing that you use in combat. We're gonna put constant tier wires, we're gonna put obstacles up, we're gonna we're going to we're going to defend our borders using the weapons of war. The bad thing is, mm. they're defending the borders against people who are coming people. <laughs> and then within the borders, you got people who are are trying to tear this place down, <laughs> and yet they're allowing them to run free. Mm. They defend against people that's peacefully coming, raising the white flag, turning themselves in. Hey, I mean, they, they, they look around. <laughs> The enemy's inside the inside the gate. Inside the gate, not outside the gate. The enemy's inside. Woo! Go ahead. What else you got here? What, what, you said nineteen. Okay, dearly beloved, avenge not yourself, but rather give place unto wrath. For it is written, vengeance is mine. Mm -hmm. I will repay. Mm -hmm. So, so, so he didn't ask you to go after the undesirable, did he? No. He, he didn't ask you to be the, the to give the wrath of God for somebody who you perceive broke the laws of God. He didn't he didn't give that to you. He he even said that vengeance is his. Yeah. You he didn't tell you are the weapon no. Love for your him neighbor. to take. Yes, we did. Love your neighbor. I got it. Mm, 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 mm. Go ahead, bro. What does he got? Therefore, if thine enemy hunger. Uh huh. Feed him. No, you can't. And once again, who are you talking about? Because is this supposed to be the answer to the test? Is this supposed to be the true mark of a Christian? Who are you? Who are you supposed to feed? Who did you talk about when you said, "Is that"? Well, he said enemy, didn't he? <laughs> specific. <laughs> he said your friend, didn't he? You know what's crazy is <laughs> when we go to a war with these <laughs> other countries and states. They do feed the enemy. <laughs> they do give them, give them uh, water to drink. Yeah. You know? <laughs> and, it, it, and it, we didn't do it on the border, but, though, right? <laughs> but here in this land, <laughs> they don't do this. Yeah. They, remember, that's one of the accusations, wasn't it? The yeah. people try to cross the river, ask for water, and, and they say, what time they get one bottle for the whole group? Hey, here, here, I'm going to give you one bottle yeah. for the whole group. Little children right there, thirsty. Yeah. Uh, but water, you just cross with water. Go, go, go straight there. Oh, man. The mark of a true Christian? What, what else you say? You, you feed them. If they're your enemy, you feed them. And if they, and if they thirst, you give them a drink. Give them 
will drink, for in so doing, thou shalt he calls a fire on his head. Because this, you're this showing the goodness of God. Yeah. This is an enemy. Yeah. It's not that you do it for Come on, that man. sake. You're doing Come it on. because the love of God is shed abroad. With you. Exactly. And, and it you may come to love your neighbor as mm -hmm. yourself. And it may change it may change their heart. Yeah. By you doing that. Because that last one, because this is the one that seems to be what they did for the crusade, for the uh, Spanish Inquisition, for the slave trade, for the Jim Crow laws, for up to modern day time. This is what he's telling them not to do, right? 21. What it says? Be not over, do, be not overcome of evil. But overcome evil with good. Now, I think that's a test. That's an answer to these are answers to the test, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. But apparently, we're not getting it out. They know somebody's. They're, they're just not. They're not showing no fruit. And, and therefore, they don't care. They're gonna be accountable, right? That's bottom line, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So, in other words, why call yourself a Christian? If you can't even, and, and like Brother Adler said, I'm giving you the answers. Well, I'm telling Brother Adler. <laughs> he agreed with me. If you don't, he'll let us know. That we give you the answer to the test. We're telling you to bear good fruit. We're telling you what things, six things God hate, plus seven is abomination to. We're telling you that the works of the flesh, those who do such things, should not inherit the kingdom. We're telling you. This is what the scriptures are saying. Isn't that what the scriptures are saying? What, 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 what part you don't get? It's always remind me of what Christ when he was in Romans 8. Remember Romans 8? When Christ said there and said, How come you can't you can't hear you, you can't hear what I'm saying? <laughs> why, 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 why you can't understand my speech? You can't, you can't, you can't hear the truth. And that was even prophesied. He said it, didn't he, brother? He it said was prophesied. it was prophesied by the prophets. He's going to come. They're not going to hear him. <laughs> They're not going to understand him. They are going to reject him. That was all wow. prophesied. Right. And you know, and, and, and just like that that, that, that that little scripture I have all the, all the time, right? About Nehemiah 8 8, right? I only have to do is read this. If we read it distinctly, aren't we? we? We have a conversation. We're talking. You can throw everything else we said out. Brother, they can do that, right? You can, everything we say, you can just throw that, you can throw that piece out. Mm -hmm. But everything that's written, you're accountable for. People. That's why we try to read the book, right? That's what we do. I think I think we honestly try to do that, don't we? We put the scriptures up there, right? Because we're not reading the entire Bible to you. Well, we're, 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 we're putting scriptures up to show that <laughs> our, our conversation is based upon the Word of God. Mm -hmm. And so if you find fault in what we say, the scriptures, you got to find fault in the Christian scriptures. I'm not yeah. saying that we are, we have all the, the revelations that concern these scriptures. But where would you get so deep that you're not reading these scriptures for faith value? <laughs> exactly. We're, we're, we're not just reading them to make a point because you can make a point about anything, anything. just by bringing up scripture. Yeah. You can make yeah. a point to kill folks. Mm. By mm -hmm. using scripture, obviously some people did that, right? And, and they're doing, it. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. what we're doing is we're we're trying to show you we're we're trying to share the gospel. The yes, gospel. sir. And in doing yes, so, sir. we are using these scriptures to to show what we're talking about, what we're expounding on, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and we're staying within the flow of the river. We're not flowing outside. Come on now. Come on. We're not taking we're not taking the different conclusion. Yeah, we're not we're not taking the broad road. Come on, bro. That leads to destruction. Come on. We're on the narrow road. Yeah. That leads to life everlasting. And Come on. Uh, everything in us 
is, is I mean, that we teach is, is based on love. We, we, we want everyone to get an understanding of the gospel of God and to know who they are mm. Mm. in Christ. And, and in doing so, that opens up the revelations that you can get on your own yes, when sir. you read these scriptures. Come so on, it, it is imperative that you find out who you are. And the only way you're going to do it is to get into this word. You just can't go into a church and learn the answers to the test. No, you got to live the answers, really. You got to live that, it out. You that, got, and, and to live it out is to research and to do it and to allow it to, to allow your intellect to understand what's been hidden in your heart. There's got to be a connection. You got to be. And without that connection, it's just information. Yeah, yeah. And that's what that's what concerned about what people sort of do, uh, Christian nationalism, black supremacy, white supremacy, yeah. any other type of supremacy. We're trying to tell you, man, you 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 the supremacy, supreme power is in God. And I think that's another thing we're trying to say, because you be very say black power or white power, or whatever power, you know, or political power. But that's people, people want, you know, they're doing anything to get the, the, the in politics, they're doing everything to get the prize. Mm -hmm. But what are you going to do with the prize when you get it? You know what I mean? Is, if, are you going to use the prize to do evil or are you going to get do, get the prize to do good? Are you going to take care of the people or are you going to take care of a selected few? That that's, that's what we need, we're trying to tell you. We're just trying to tell you, you're gonna be, you gotta show the true marks of a Christian. You gotta understand that Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father. Matter of fact, everything we say, like I said, is still but point towards Christ. If it ain't point toward Christ, it don't mean nothing. He said he's the way, amen? So I, I, I think that didn't get you too bad. I didn't get you too stirred up. No. Matter of fact, you you stay on track. I, I, I guess we we show no picture. We show no picture. It is what it is. You know. It is what it is. And, and this this is this is the life we live. So yeah. we we got to expect persecution. We got to expect the things that are going on in these times mm. in our lives because it is written. It is written. I think I like what Paul says. Speak the word. What is, what is he said the, what he said. Speak the word only. Yeah, because I mean, when we stay within the boundaries of the scriptures, then we're doing good. It's when we're coming outside of the scriptures. That's what Peter. That's I think back when we use the, we use one all the time about Peter and Christ. Yeah. When he when he said, "Thou art the Christ, the Son of the Living God." Christ said, "Flesh and blood didn't reveal that to you." My father, my father from heaven. But when he said that, you're going to do contrary to what God, Christ is telling him, said, I have to do. These are things that's going to happen to me. And he had been telling them. <laughs> he had yeah. been telling them for a long time. Yeah. These things I must suffer. <sighs> and then and he go, when the he time say, comes, no, 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 no. <laughs> I don't, I don't care what God told me. <laughs> that's basically, that's in, in paraphrase, that's basically what he's saying, isn't it? But you know, but, but you gotta, you gotta, you gotta look at it. I love you so much that I don't want you to go through this based on my human intellect and my, my human love towards you. Yeah. But I can't allow you to go through this because I will be affected. Yeah, that's what happened, right? Yeah, I'll be affected. To affect me, right? I'll be feeling some kind of way. So no. no. <laughs> and what, what was the response? Because it sounds justifiable, right? And he just gave a justification, didn't he? Yeah. He and, and gave. I, and I understand. I understand. <laughs> if something, if you told me I got to go and unjust. Mm. be crucified and killed but I'm doing it because it is my father's will I 
most likely am not going to comprehend the last part of that, the quality. Yeah, that last part, which, which Christ did in the Garden of Gethsemane, didn't he? Yeah. He said, nevertheless, yeah. that that will be done. Yeah, will. It, yeah, and the good thing about it, Christ saying is, I laid down my life. I didn't, I didn't, yeah. I didn't, I didn't, you, I didn't kill myself. I just didn't stop I you. I allowed you to do it. Exactly. Because that's I the could, difference. I, I, I could change this whole scenario. In a minute. In a minute. Yeah. Look, he said I can call legion of, uh, of legion. angels. <laughs> they were he, he didn't have, they were there. They were already there. And, and when they were nothing. already there. All he had yeah. to do was just mumble. What they yeah. kept sitting there waiting. Come on now, they, just, they'll stand it. Just, just begin to let the word come out your mouth because I don't want you to go through this, though I know the purpose of this. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The, the, yeah. Because they're looking at their God mm -hmm. being tormented by mm -hmm. man. Yeah. That are under the influence of their arch enemy, mm -hmm. Satan. Yeah, the God is world, people that have blinded eyes, mind, excuse me, mind, excuse me. That's one thing we talked about before too, right? The God is world blinded the mind. The mind. I mean, it's not their eyes. They can mm, see. Mm, 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 it's mm. their minds. It's their minds. They can't and that's, comprehend yeah. Yeah. The, the travesty that's going on with their decisions and their actions. And... Uh, Mm -hmm. Man, there's no way you could be connected mm -hmm. to Elohim mm -hmm. with the action that you perform Come on, when you do atrocities toward anybody. Yeah, and that's what that scripture is saying. Do not overcome evil with evil. But overcome evil. But it's not with even evil. evil with evil. Just don't do evil. Just don't do evil, right? That's the whole point. Don't you know, be. You got somebody that's just trying to exist. Mm. What does that existence do to you? Mm. You you have the choice to to do what you want to do when you want to do it and how you want to do it. And if there's any constraints toward that, it's not the person that's already doing it that you feel that's taking your job or, or whatever. It's the government. Yeah, the government is controlling what is and what isn't. In this physical world, yeah, and they use the money that not, to not the people who are actually living their everyday lives, mm -hmm. who are not in control of making laws, and and then you got those who are in charge of maintaining the laws. Mm -hmm. You know our justice system. If if anything afflicts you in mm -hmm. this country, that's who you go to. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't show hatred and evil to somebody who's doing something that you don't want them to do when you have the option to do the same thing. Yeah. When it comes to existing. Yeah. You know, just existing, not, not doing crime, just existing, just coming to a place to live a life in peace. But the and, and if they're coming here, knowing that they're going to to be subject to the evil of what at the border, mm. then obviously what they're fleeing is far more mm. Mm. terrifying than that. Yeah, to be able to come and walk right up to you to, to, after to, they get to, past to, the barricades. Yeah, to, to, to try and, and do what they're doing to get into this country. Nobody goes through that if what they're leaving is better. Right. And they're not attacking you. They're pleading to you. They're, they're, they're asking for help. <laughs> they're fleeing people who are worse than what you are. Mm. Because they know once they get past your initial front mm -hmm. of evil toward them, that there's a possibility that they can live a life. Yeah that is better than what they left. And for and, that, they make that journey. And the only thing- Nobody wants to connect that. No, no. The, what they connect is, brother, is the population 
of a certain group of people that want to maintain and seeing their population go down. Yeah. And and their accountability or unaccountability to now become accountable to the law. Well, and to, yeah, they don't to, want it. To actually follow the law. Yeah. And they know that the laws are going to change. Yes. It, it's it, going to hold it, everybody it, accountable. These laws are going to eventually change because we can't dictate mm -hmm. the laws to to mm. be favorable to only us. Now they're going to be equality. And if and there's that's... equality all the way across the board, then there has to be a paradigm shift. If yes. If there's a paradigm shift, then everyone goes back to zero. Mm. You know what I mean by paradigm? The, the, the paradigm means that the laws and the constraints change so that everybody has to follow yeah. a new set of rules. Yes. A yeah. new standard, and then that new standard that everyone has to follow, everyone has to forget yeah. about what the standards yeah. were mm -hmm. and conform to this one. So it brings everyone back to an equal starting point. And these folks will not allow that to happen. They've made laws, they've broken laws. They've, they've done so much to maintain the status quo. Yeah. I mean, and even the fact that they say that, okay, let's get right back to the topic that we were on when we first started, that, yeah. that slaves were better off being slaves. So if they were, why did they do everything they could to make sure they wouldn't leave slavery <laughs> to prevent them from leaving and escaping slavery oh they were happy sure yeah, they were... <laughs> that even once they were made free that they mm. were still condemned and controlled mm. 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 to be slaves yeah so, and, and 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 then to make sure that they lived a life that was above what these slaves were living, even though they showed that if you left them alone, left them alone, come on now, left them alone, yes, it would be no different if you left them alone before you made them slaves. They will thrive, and they will increase, and they will come up and exist, and Ooh. in most standards, better Ooh. Ooh. than those who enslaved them. So. They it, it, yeah. it is imperative that they do not allow that to happen. And so... Because that don't fit the narrative, right? Yeah, that's what you have. Because like you said, they had their own civilization and they have demonstrated over and over again that if you leave them alone, stop trying to tie their heads behind their backs. Stop take it like the human race, right? And yeah. to run like a racetrack and you sit there and you want to put them in a ditch, you want to tie their hands, you want to you want to do everything to hinder them to, to keep them from starting off on the block with their own ability. Yeah. Because that's all the people, that's all we ever asked for. Just let us, yeah. I, I want to be able to go as far as I can go based on my ability. I'm not asking for a handout. But what I'm saying is, for history, of people putting block, what do you call barricades and yeah. blockage in front of you and said that's that's because it's okay to do that to you. And then because the, the other crazy thing is, you have all these other people coming in mm -hmm. that this nation is giving a hand up to. Mm -hmm. I mean, you have you have a people who get. Let's just say government aid. Yes, they do. Government aid they give uh, people of color, African Americans. Mm -hmm. Let's just let's be specific. The, the, the aid they give African Americans is always less than what they would give a Caucasian American. It's, it's even worse when it comes to people who are foreign who come in here who get two, three, four times as much government aid. They get, in the books that we've read, 
Mm -hmm. You have a people who get uh, what it equates to uh, food subsidies to where they can open a store in a community of those who are of color mm -hmm. and the store products are free to them because the government is giving them uh, uh, aid to purchase mm. these things free. Yeah. And then wow. they mark the price up and sell it to the people who don't even get a portion <laughs> yeah. of what they get yeah. as far as aid from the government. So yeah. everybody is given a leg up to be equal except for those who have been enslaved and are descendants of slaves in this country. Yeah. And that's then, it. And they all came voluntarily. Yeah. And I think that's a problem they got with the people coming across that river. Yeah. Is and first of all, they look like those slaves. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but they coming in voluntarily. They walking in. Yeah. And 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 they are people of color. Uh it could be light brown, brown, whatever, dark, some of them, whatever. But the bottom line is they're not European. And and I remember that buddy said, uh, 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 our buddy Trump said, why do, why do people want to come from these ESO countries? Yeah. Uh, the colorful metaphor of, of what he was saying basically is the, the uh, you know, that's the color. <laughs> Of the stuff he just you know he just yeah. said dumb right yeah. he, he, why, why are those people coming from these these colorful countries uh why can't they come from you know like my wife came from uh, from europe and everything else i mean people we're not really we're not trying to be we're just trying to say why can't they all come because you did the same thing to the people at ellis island you know when they first got here you yeah. you, you discriminated against them uh they had to conform. Yeah. They had to conform. Many of them was to told their that, culture behind. Yes, they did. And, and 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 adapt a culture that made them said that they were less than. And then yeah. once once <laughs> once they learn how to blend in, right? Once yeah. they learn how to sit there, look, they, they made them speak language, speak English. Yeah. You speak English in this house. And I, I think different with Hispanic people, what the fact is that a lot of kids they didn't want to. That's one thing they wanted to keep, right? Yeah. Their heritage of, of speaking their language. Yeah. Uh, but they know that a lot of people had to learn. They still may learn English. Yeah. Because well, they that's said why they put down the languages that we create here as people of color, which is known as slang mm -hmm. or ebonics, they put it down. Mm -hmm. Because it is a different language that they can't yeah. understand, and they <laughs> always are trying to 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 assimilate it and learn what it means, so right. that they can they can understand what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. And they abuse it, like mm -hmm. the word woke. They're using that, and it has the 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 definition that they use it for is not nowhere near. <laughs> The intent. <laughs> what the intent that we came up with. That's like saying a Spanish person saying C si don't mean yes. Yeah, come on. That means it means, it, it, you know, something completely different. Right, right. That's what, that's what we're trying to say. That's that's the whole bottom line to it. Uh, man, it's a deep. If you don't so. assimilate and be like what they want you to be. Mm -hmm. Not be like them, but be what they want you to be, which right. is less than them then you're, you're out of line. And if you don't assimilate to the scriptures too, because obviously that's not what they want. No. No, they don't want that. And we just change that people is, all we just saying is the there's study the gospel for yourself. Just study it for yourself. Read it and stop sitting there and, and, and being turned off because of people. People that are blind will do the things they're gonna do. I just want to say, take take off the cloak. Stop saying you are something that you you obviously don't want to be, and and be who you are. Just we rather be able to see who you are, opposed to you sitting there lying. You know, even the KKK at least put the used put the hood on their head so we can see who they are, right? Yeah. Then they took it off. Now yeah. I don't know what I don't know who I'm dealing with. 
no, they put the hood on themselves so that they can do the atrocities that they did without being recognized. Mm -hmm. I mean, but you knew they were a part of a group of terrorists. That's what that was. And, and the reason why there was hoods was because you had government leaders, you had a government In officials, yeah. <laughs> you had police officers, we had doctors, <laughs> lawyers, you know, school teachers. They all were hidden, hiding themselves underneath these hoods. Yeah, that march on DC one time, remember that? That's a big one, wasn't yeah. it? Long, 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 long. People talking way back in, I guess, the 30s or 40s. And you could see all, it was a huge crowd, wasn't it? Yeah. I wonder how big, I wonder how big that crowd was. I guess it wasn't as big as the Million Man March, but it, it was big enough. Yeah. So anyway, I, I think I'm just going to close with this. It isn't the fact, right? Is the fact is that is the mark of a Christian, which is really what they, uh, <laughs> let's let you know. <laughs> that was the part two I'll tell you about, all I'm going to do. Uh, which I'm not going to do with you, <laughs> but but I, I decided to bring those scriptures up into it. This was the, this was the part two of the uh, the session I was doing. Look at that. Look at the title. Okay, marks of a true Christian. Mm -hmm. That was the title. Keep my commandments. Yeah. You see, what I'm saying that that was the that was the original you title. You got the two fingers up. Because there's two commandments that are his. <laughs> they belong to him, right. That, that equate all the commandments. Come on, brother. You do them too, <laughs> you fulfill them all. You got them all. And the, and the, yeah, the fact is, you're the mark of a Christian. You're not, it's not lynching. It's not rioting, not sedition. It's not turning people, pushing them back in the river. It's, it's, it's not evil for evil is overcome evil with good. That's our doctrine. That's our identity. And it's throughout the whole scriptures. I can't, like I said, we can't cover the whole Bible, right? We can't cover all the the the, the every scripture, every session. Mm -hmm. But we can cover we can cover some we can we can what we can all put a flashlight as you know, we're going different through different areas of of the word based on what's going on in society today and, and let yeah. you know, okay, well, this is where they're missing the mark. This is where they're actually living the gospel. Come on. Come on. And so um, mm. maybe that's something that we can look at doing, showing more of those who are actually, you know, living this, this life, you know, as examples that are in the mainstream media. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. we can show examples of both. Yeah, that might be something that we we, we want to do because so they out, can see. Yeah, yeah, put some pictures. Yeah, yeah, they're out there. They're out there you know, saying there good. That are doing great and wonderful things in love. And that's mm -hmm. the, the gospel. If yeah. you're doing something for those who are less fortunate, mm. then you're you are performing the gospel. Now, yes, sir. If it's for uh, mammon which is to make yourself rich mm -hmm. then we can point that out but the exactly. action itself is is what god is intending i mean we just read the, the scriptures mm -hmm. give to those who are less fortunate he did he did he <laughs> said know, that it. got my yeah. eye because the first thing i thought about <laughs> was mm. the body of christ yeah so, uh, are yeah. we doing that are we doing that no what we're doing is we want to sit there and oppress people yeah. Uh, I'm not talking about all of those people. No, I'm not. I'm not talking about the people who do that stuff. They're they're trying to do part about let's let's hurt and keep and oppress other people down for our benefit. Mm -hmm. And diversity and equity and all that stuff is is because we're trying to get equality across the board. Meaning let's hold everybody accountable. Nobody wants to defund the police. Now y'all talking about defunding. Some of y'all talking about defunding the FBI. Yeah. Uh, but the fact that, I mean, I got to go back to that. Out of all the words in the English, English language that they could have put together mm -hmm. to encapsulate what they were trying to do, why did they pick those? Yeah, because it's called... Defund yeah. the police. Three, three words that incited division and chaos when the motives behind it were just 
and it was a fix mm -hmm. to some of the things that are going on, the injustice that is going on in a minority community. Yeah, yeah. So it's 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 it's, it's, it's it, it was it's almost trip. like it was purposely named that. Yeah, because all about money. Division. Well, it's all about money, right? You got to think yeah. about it. Even the slave trade about money. It wasn't about it's people can sit there and do all they want and say, well, it's about color. No, yeah. about money. It's about money. And this is something ahead. that 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 came to mind, you know, dropped in my spirit. We were talking about this. Is you look at all the great wonders mm -hmm. that are over there, made by man, made by by slaves. Yeah. In Africa, mm -hmm. the pyramids. Yeah. You know, the, the, the kingdoms, Egypt, all that stuff out there. Uh, the things, all these, these great structures and these cities out there, the civilizations were made. And I'm thinking, well, they know if, if they're that industrial, we need to have them do that here in the States. Well, they are. They and then they the did. Yeah. You look up and look at Washington. Every structure that's been there since the mm -hmm. beginning of this nation's glory yeah. was made by slaves. And it yeah. still stands there today, still just like standing. they still stand in Africa. Right. The marvel thing, the beautiful structures. Yeah. And the fact is that, you know, they had those skill sets. They weren't given those skill sets. No. You know what I mean? Yeah. They, they, they had the potential all the time. And, and with some Florida, somebody gonna sit there and try to ignore that. You know, I think that guy just, he probably, even that state losing money, a lot of people aren't taking their conventions down there now. Well, uh, he's tourists doing a bait down. switch. It's yeah. all bait switch. He's, he's trying to do anything he can to put people's conversations on some of the st st stupidest stuff he says and not look at his his fruit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, the, and, the, yeah. The, the, the product of his leadership. Look yeah. What's going on in the state of Florida. So and to keep people's eyes off of those fruits, he comes up with these different crazy ideas and sayings to, for people to argue about that. As yeah. long as they're arguing about that, they're not going to look at the results of, of my efforts as far yeah. as my, what my job is to govern yeah. the state. So, yeah. so keep an eye on this. Not, not, not what's going on. Not, not, not knowing that I had a number one economy, one of the number one com economies in the state, country, but it's now becoming less than. Yeah. It's losing money. It's bleeding. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's bleeding. And, 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 and not only that, the majority of their money comes from other states, from people visiting. Yeah. And now they got them listed as one of the top 10 worst states in the country. Yeah. Matter of fact, you, you got the NAACP said don't even go there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And some people are doing it. Some people are going to pull out their stuff away from them. You know, because it's like, dude, we didn't try to go that far back. I know he figured he's trying to get to the right of, or the left of He's trying to get further right than Trump and hoping that base will follow him. Yeah, it's And nice. Trump is like looking at him like, look at this little fool of me. <laughs> like, he burned his own bridges. Uh -huh. That's what he's saying. <laughs> yeah, Pope, he rises up in the polls, and that boy falling down further and further. And other, other, and other uh, uh, politicians too that's running, they have a hard time saying, "How can I talk about him?" They, and, they, and, they all come up with a narrative to not say, yeah, anything about him, and it's it's crazy, you know. It is. I'm I'm running my agenda. Well, he's a part of your agenda. Yeah. You know, okay. yeah. Uh, you, what do you think about him being able to run when he's being mm. prosecuted for federal offenses? <laughs> I'm not going to speak up. Well, no, you're, you're trying to be the president. <laughs> you, you, this is something that you need to be able to speak of. You either for it or you're against it. They're so embarrassed. They are so ridiculous. embarrassed. I mean, to completely avoid the question, what do you think about Trump's indictment? Well, the economy that Joe Biden has us in, you know, just completely <laughs> avoid answering yeah. that question. Just yeah. just like they didn't even ask that. And didn't lie about the economy too at the same time. Yeah. 
case of this and the kind of is bad, you know. Uh, it's crazy. It is crazy. But that's a, that's hypocrisy we're trying to say, really. You're still going to be accountable for that. Amen? All right, bro. I held you up long enough. Uh, appreciate the conversation. And uh, hopefully catch you next week. Yes. Amen. Amen. Let me see if I can make a good summary. I'm going to break. One thing about a summary, though, I still think we want to bring out that point. You really, I don't know, that was a key point you're saying is, is when I used to thought when you're saying if they're coming after me, they're coming after you. I was not thinking, uh, I wasn't thinking about the fact is that if they won't let me get away with stuff, they're not gonna let you get away with not stuff. You get away. Yeah, they're not coming after you to be, just to come after you. They're saying is they'll come after you when you break the law. Yeah. 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 I mean, Interesting. I, I, I can't see any other reason why they would get behind this man. Exactly. You you're saying it because you know, we know what, their what, history shows that. Right? It's just the the evidence is just so clear, just like you're on the screen in front of me. Yeah. Yeah. The, the evidence that, that he done what he's done is so clear. Nobody else could be caught on video and soundtrack committing a crime against the voting, the, the, the process yeah. of voting. Yeah. And last this long outside of prison? Why is it taking two, three, four years? <laughs> to prosecute this man who called Georgia government and said, mm. you need to find me, given a direct order, I need <laughs> you to find me so many votes. That's yeah. all I need. That's, That's all I need. need. And one more, more than one, one more. Like the, that I need it. <laughs> I one need to be, <laughs> I mean, it's like, it's like, Dude, the man is telling you your, your information is wrong. Uh, I need eleven thousand such and such vote. Yeah, Mr. President, you, you, I can't give you. Where do you think I'm gonna get them from? Would you want me to cheat? Is if Vince was asking, I need you to find me some votes that you can put well, on the vote. He told him. To, he told him to make up these these votes. How 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 is he gonna find them if that wasn't direct <laughs> order just to make them up? So. <laughs> With that said, the guy knew it was corrupt, so he he reported it. And they got mad because they reported. He knew what was yeah. going to happen. So exactly, if if, if he would have done it, he would have been in prison. Exactly for doing what he told him to do. But yet the man who told him to do it, and if he says it, it's a rightful order. If the president mm. tells you to do it. Yeah, and now, now look, and then the other one is running and sitting there saying slave benefited from slavery. Yeah. Uh, you're like, would you, how about you go slavery then? Yeah, yeah. You know, what, would you Would you think you'd benefit from slavery? No, no, no. But the, why would you think somebody else would benefit from it? Come on, people, y'all just, well, listen, we just hope that those people I say do Christians believe, I hope you got the right answer, people, that you don't. You don't believe that slaves benefited from slavery. I hope that's what you're saying. But the thing that Brother Azar brought out, though, is I hope you're not trying to be in, just like, you, obviously you feel like you're not accountable to God. It sounds like you don't want to be accountable to the law. That's what it sounds like to me. So we, we got to talk about that, believers. If you are, well, I'm we got to talk about that, believers. If you, you can't, go ahead. I was just thinking, I don't know anybody that's willing to become a slave. Now, I, I don't see anybody volunteering uh, to be a slave. That, I mean, that's not having no rights. Exactly. That, that's what that means. All your rights yeah. are, are subject to somebody mm -hmm. who, who's, who owns you. Yeah. I mean, so it, 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 the get closest the thing to that, I thought, was volunteering to serve in the military. Yeah. But you still have rights. You have rights in the military. You have laws, you have codes yeah. of conduct, and everything else that goes along with it. Yeah. These people that like the, the slaves that was in the field, they were raped. The slaves that was in the house, they were definitely raped. Yeah. Uh, 
kill, murder, <laughs> maim, abuse. And abuse, you name it. You know, it, it was starved. And what skills you talking about? Like we said earlier, you talking about the agricultural skills? They had them before they, yeah. they had them before That's, they got here. Without their agricultural skills, there wouldn't be no rice here in this country. Come on now. Hey, look, here's another one. They, they, don't forget the, uh, uh, they didn't need a slave plantation to get skills to have sex either. So uh, what skills are you talking about? And how many people are you talking about? What the percentage you're talking about? So those are the type of things we as believers got to get get a handle on. So uh, and that's another thing that's crazy. They didn't teach them how to grow cotton. No, nope, they, they knew didn't how. teach them how to pick cotton. Uh -uh. But what they did was they beat them to pick more cotton than they were humanly able to pick. I'm talking yeah. about the, the, the people who were over them couldn't exactly. do nothing like that. Yeah, they had a quota. They wanted they, to make they, sure they, they yeah. Not one. Caucasian person could match the quota of the least mm, mm, mm. picker. I'm talking about a child. Yeah. They couldn't yeah. compete with. And that wasn't taught to them. They they came with that information, that farming information, that cult of uh of culture. Yeah. I mean they, did. they 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 just they, I mean and then the the, the barbecue Mm -hmm. That came from people of color. Hey, look. Hey, let me throw another one at you. So the thing about it, the the uh, this Thanksgiving, this yeah, feeding and having somebody else taught you, you know, those savages yeah. taught you how to make it through the winter. Yeah. But yeah, they're savage. But savages, but they taught you to survive. That's why they make their little pictures, right? That's why we go to go to we taught in school, right? Yeah. They taught them how to survive. Yeah, so you have to. one picture of an Indian <laughs> helping them. You know, the, the, the Thanksgiving. They get mm -hmm. all this, they bring in all this other stuff to these Caucasian people who are on this ship. And then everything after that, they were savages. They were savages. Murderers. Kill yeah. And, Justified and, to burn down their places, their villages, and everything else. And then they won't say how they took the land. They mm -hmm. just they migrated west. Ooh, the tears, the trails of tears. Wow. You know, I mean, just it's just not to mention that these people, these indigenous people, were mixed with Africans. Mm -hmm. Because they, the came, they, they, yeah, they yeah. came to South America way before, before any, exactly. <laughs> any European did and migrated up north. And, yeah. and the crazy thing is, they did not change their culture. Mm -mm. They mm -hmm. added to it. They did. They did. Matter of fact, they learned how to survive just like those people learned yeah. to survive. Uh, they didn't build. They decided to do rebuild of Egypt or something like that. They just, they just survived. Yeah. You know? So, so right. I mean, and like I said, but the, the labeling that people gave them was where the problem came in at. Yeah. To justify the behavior yeah. of Still people that call themselves Christians. See, and, and then, and, wow. Just yeah. like, so they would call the people that they wanted to get rid of everything that they were mm -hmm. because they were the savage yes that was killing these people that were taking their land yes that was raping their women mm -hmm. you know uh that was savage these people were trying to exist and they were trying to protect what they had mm. and so to try and stop them from moving further they would go and attack them when they were in their territory Yes. If they never would have left that territory that they were given, mm -hmm. everything would have been fine. So likened to that in those days when they were they were killing off these people and calling them savage. Here we have uh, a, a president, a candidate, mm. that says that his opponents do, do everything that he does. 
He did. They talk about he, weaponizing. He does his yeah. conspiracy that he he's uh, <laughs> cheating on taxes. Is that that uh, you know his family, his children are corrupt and are doing crime. <laughs> yeah, look, they, look, they made money out of business deals or whatever, yeah. sending on boards, and everything else. But we forget about everybody else' children. Yeah, that's, that's what profit. I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm saying that they're 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 attacking Hunter, but they allowed <laughs> this man's children to just abuse the laws that were set in place. Make it big for bucks. for children right. of those who are in leadership position. Yeah. Yeah. I mean Tony he Oh look, 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 don't forget, look, when you say we're savage, uh Hunter not qualified. You yeah. see. The other people qualified. Yeah. How how yeah. how is his daughter qualified to be uh have an ear to the president? How she is says, how is his son-in-law able to mess with top secret security information without having top secret clearance? And uh the I think if Vanilla sat on the uh uh the what's that the money thing, money, 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 was that yeah. you fired uh uh she was one of the people one time sat on that, that oh, table. Yeah, that panel, yeah. So, so, so I guess he's qualified to do business. You know? No, uh, no, not not with the government. <laughs> the other government, no, other governments, right? Yeah. They they did got they had business deals in other countries. Oh yeah, they were going yeah. to other countries trying to represent the United States, but doing personal business mm -hmm. for themselves. Right. And yet they're going to go to Biden talking about <laughs> he's not qualified for. Well, they weren't qualified to do what they did. That's the whole point. You see what I'm saying? That is yeah. it's how I label you. Yeah. How I want to create a narrative for you. You know, how are you gonna sit and there and say that the crazy thing is they're jumping on Hunter, but you don't hear no not one Democrat bring up the hypocrisy that was going on when Trump was in office. You know, you just don't hear it. It's like you don't. You're scared to call out the op the their opponents for doing what their opponents are accusing them of. Yeah, when there's the hotel. proof. There's yeah, facts. Proof. Right. You know, there, there's documents, there's video footage of what they're accusing one president of what? that oh, the one Scott. that they're backing <laughs> did. And so you never hear them say anything about it, one word, one peep. And it's like they have no backbone to 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 say that. It's like we're going to take the high road and and not call him out and let him let them just do exactly they do anything, what they want to do. Any means necessary, the Republican Party is going to try and and stay in power and gain power. That's and all. The Democrats are like we're we're going to be the high road. We're not going to call yeah. out any atrocities, any law breaking. <laughs> any lies we're not just gonna we're not gonna tell you the truth we're that's deep going to, yeah to just gloss over and what i get it what it gets me is on the on the Republican side about the like i'm talking about the forgiveness of the loans they have you do like that sounds like a a non-partisan thing you know this loan forgiveness and everything but they 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 went against it yeah and, and the reason yet, why they went against it is because the money that they're getting for being in office from these big major companies are like, we don't want that. Mm -hmm. We don't want, we'd rather give you a little bit of money than to lose out all the money that we're going to lose out for being invested in these banks mm -hmm. that are going to lose out on these loans that we abuse these people with. That's well, all that's that about. It's just I thought the government paid. Year. I thought the government paid for that money already. They've been paid. Yeah. It's just a the payback is to the government, not payback to to uh, institutions. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's really designed to keep these people in bondage. Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. But you talking about you talking about a lot of debt. That's a lot of debt. Yeah. You're talking about 20, 30 years mm -hmm. worth of debt that they're tied to these these this debt for just trying to lift themselves up by their yes, business. Sir. And you're talking about lawyers, doctors, yeah. engineers, business majors, all those people, and especially when they want to get into a division one school yeah. or even worse, an Ivy League school. Yeah. 
And and all it was doing, I think, was just trying to price people out. Yeah, that's all it is. And then, you know, once people started getting in there that they didn't want in there and was proven that they can be better than those who were been there, you know, who, who paid their way in there mm -hmm. instead of going in there in debt. So it's like, it's a way of exclusion. It is. It's, it's a way of, of, of making sure that there's so few people that even want to get in that type of debt. Yes, then, I know. Even when those who actually go through that, what they do is they change the goalpost. It's mm -hmm. like, well, these careers aren't worth anything anymore. It's mm -hmm. this career right here that's going to get this top money. Yeah. So yeah. make sure you send your kids to do this, to learn this trade, to get this information at these schools, because we're getting rid of the goals that we had <laughs> with this school. It's you know, so, so you have somebody with a double doctorate woo. degree working at a, 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 a fast food restaurant because his career field means nothing anymore. Nothing, exactly. No value or benefit. And yet, no you know, value. It's, 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 it's just a virus. Um, but we'll learn. I hope that, I hope that I, the minds of people's eyes are open more and more. And that's all we plan to see. Somebody else playing a role too to pass this stuff out. So we just all just keep doing our part, you know? Reach who you can reach. And uh, we'll see what happens. All right, good brother, I'll let you go. Uh, Cause I gotta wrap it up. And uh, it's almost, it's 11.30. <laughs> you stay blessed. <laughs> all right, you too. All right, bye-bye. Hey everybody, God bless you. I, I, once again, I still be excited about getting to the Word of God, studying the Word of God, and discussing the Word of God with other people. And this Sunday is no different than for the rest of this week. Uh, we are send out small segments, uh, these uh, sessions, so you can digest them. Uh, but I'm telling you, the the topic today, I had to with two topics, uh, because you got to be led by the Holy Spirit and what He wants to talk about. And, 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 and try to make sure to understand who we are, who you are, if you believe that you are a believer in Christ, if you are letting Christ be Lord, because it's not just confessing with your mouth the Lord Jesus, but believing in your heart that God raised from the dead and now to be saved. But the key to that is that you believe with your heart and you, you, you confess salvation to your mouth. But the key word I want to put in there is that you're letting Him be Lord in your life. If you follow in Christ, Christ said in John 14, 6, I'm the way of truth and the life. No one comes to the Father, but by Him. So the question is, is some of the behavior that we do, are we doing that to, to please the Father, or are we doing things to please man? Do we believe we're going to only be accountable to man in this lifetime, or do we understand we'll be accountable to God? That's what I want to be able to talk about. And when, when, when I came up with the study, I had the initial topic is the mark of a true Christian. And and I felt led and also inspired because of the news from this week where the state of Florida said then says that, you know, uh, slave benefit from being slaves. And you know, good weather that that's just a slap in the face to anybody to just think that you you benefit from being a slave. Uh, could I ask you a question who Anybody, anybody who was not were not slaves. Anybody who would, came to this country as free people or indentured people. But the fact is, you came to this country, and did you want to be a slave? Do you think that you would have been you it would have been beneficial for you to be a slave, opposed to being free? And the answer is going to always be being free. So it isn't the type of I get in I'm cold. This is my opening piece. I want to give. And, and, and close out had two topics. The first one was, do Christians, and you know, because I'm a Christian, so I'm talking about as Christians, do Christians believe we benefited from slavery? And the answer should be no. And if you do believe that, then you need to go and tell, come up on the line and tell people why you felt that you should have been a slave so you can get benefit. So instead of sitting there trying to say that somebody else benefited from rape, benefited from murder and lynching and the brutality and forced to to not pursue happiness 
but to be forced to work for somebody else forever, or at least until they died. You know, that's that's the conditions of slavery. And and something about Florida, they forgot the fact is that those people that actually uh, are anti-abortion don't go to forget that some of the people in Florida or in some of the other states, I guess as well, use baby slaves to capture alligators. I mean, they put the baby out in the, in, in the reach with the alligator and come in, in a child. That's, that's, that's demonic, don't you agree? But the bottom line I put down here is that do Christians believe we benefit from slavery? No. We don't think we benefited from the brutalities of slavery. And if you think so, why don't you go and be a slave for yourself? You know, the bottom line is we are believers. And Christ had then said in John 15, if you love me, you keep my commandments. You know his commandments, right? John 14, 30, what, 13, uh, 35, or 34. What it says is, a new commandment I give unto you, that you love one another as I love you, that you also love one another. And then 35 says, and men will know you're my disciple for the love that you have for one another. So uh, obviously, uh, people of slavery that became Christians, they still had the same type of brutalities and everything else, really bringing up this modern day time. And yet, they did it by, to, from people who profess to be Christians. Uh, now, the benefit is something from God, not from man. And if, if I go by the man's benefit, I don't want it. Not that way, anyway. The other one I put down here is the mark of a true Christian. And, and, and as we close out, the fact is, man, uh, are some people not recognizing, and I'm, I'm pretty sure a lot of them, they don't really are accountable to God. They don't believe they are, but everybody will. The Bible said, every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess that Christ is Lord. Um, everybody will be go before God and give account of himself to God. You know, that's why we want to advocate Christ. So, you take it for what you want, but obviously in this world, Talk about in this world, some people feel that they are not going to be held accountable. And maybe that's why they do what they do. They can't see what they're seeing or doing. Amen. So God bless you. Hope you enjoy yourself. And don't forget to subscribe. I'm going to put my introduction in. I may do a, a close out as well. But don't forget to subscribe. Leave comments. And uh, I appreciate the support of listening. Amen. God bless you. And I see you when I see you. Bye-bye. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you.